Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's about mid-November here in uh, Somerset in the UK and there's quite a lot of leaves on the ground now which means it's probably towards the latter end of autumn and um, I've been meaning to get out just to see what the colours are kind of like um, at the moment. I haven't been that impressed with them um, this year in my part of the world and I've been suffering a little bit with a bad back so I haven't really had the impetus uh, to get out and try and find uh, what what is out here um, but I thought I'd make the effort today the weather um, it's not looking too good as you could probably see in the video here is quite a lot of kind of uh, mist which might make for some nice uh, dramatic scenes if I can find them um, out here this morning so I thought I'd just make a bit more of an effort and get out before they completely go this time of year but hopefully you can still see like in the background uh, there are still there is still a little bit of colour um, out there to be found. So I've come out today to a place in Somerset called Montacute and um, I could have started off um, by the iconic house Montacute House which you've probably seen um, countless times before because it is kind of um, an iconic um, location and I'll put some B right now and you can see and that's probably where I'm gonna end up but I thought first of all because it is kind of autumn colors at the moment still I thought I'd just explore a couple of the outlying kind of woods in the area so this wood is uh, called Hedgecock Hill Woods and I was really interested in coming to this woods because I did see some pictures online where there's been kind of um, old buildings from um, history uh, which were in a kind of a state of decay but I'll put some b-row up now I've been out now for about an hour and a half and that aspect hasn't really kind of interested me because as all things in the UK as soon as uh, vandals get hold of it and um, it kind of ruins it for everyone else and as you can probably see there's not really a lot left of those kind of structures um, so that was a little bit disappointing this morning, but I've come back now Like I said, I've been out for about an hour and a half before just exploring the area so far and This where I'm filming this bit now It's definitely the most impressive um, As you can probably see as I mentioned earlier There's still quite a bit of mist in the background and that way as well I'll put some b-roll up is looking pretty impressive with some mighty tall uh, trees so fingers crossed um, I might be able to find at least one decent composition today but that's not really the aim today I wasn't really I've got no expectations um, I just thought I'd come out for a nice kind of walk to have a look at what uh, color is still out here and if I find any good compositions then that's great but that's not kind of the point of today's trip and it's nice just to get out like I said I've been suffering my back so it's nice to try and get it um, moving again once I finish here, I'm going to take a walk down to another uh, small woodland called Park Covert, which is part of the Montague kind of National Trust um, estate. And I'll have a look there for some nice compositions. And I'm kind of hoping as well that at some point I'll be able to kind of see over uh, Montague and Montague House. And hopefully, if the mist is starting to, to fade away, then it might make for some um, more dramatic kind of scenes. But. Yeah, but as like I just said before, I've got no expectations. It's just nice to be out on this kind of misty morning. Yeah, so I'll carry on now and do a bit more exploring. And um, I will talk again when we go down to where you can see the iconic Montague house, because um, it's definitely worth uh, talking down there. And I'm sure there's gonna be a couple of compositions down there because there's a lot of kind of ancient and veteran trees in this area and if the mist sticks around as well when I get down there and um, it might make for some interesting compositions so let's get going
yeah, so I've only really seen that one composition, which was which was okay. Um, I think the mist obviously helped to kind of um, blend the background away, and I think that kind of war, um, which was kind of partially kind of uh, broken, helped to kind of lead the eye into the scene. So I hope that really worked out well. Yes, I'm not sure at this stage whether that would be a colour or a monochrome kind of composition, but obviously you've seen it um, now, so I wonder what, what I will end up going for. Yeah, so the plan now is I'll put some more B-roll on as I head down into the kind of the Montacute um, parkland. I've pretty much covered nearly four miles already this morning. I've been out for just over two and a quarter hours, so um, yeah, it's pretty pretty nice and quiet up here. It's very, um, I think with the mist, it, everything feels so still. There's not really much of a wind. It's really quite nice. I can just kind of hear the distant drone of some roads in the distance. But other than that, it's really, really peaceful up here. Yeah, so I'll run some more B-roll, and then if I see any more compositions, I'll put them up. So I'll talk again down in front of Montague House, and. I'm kind of pausing a little bit because I almost kind of want the mist to lift a little bit now and um, I'm not sure whether that's gonna gonna happen but um but I've got until um, 11 12 o'clock today so hopefully by then the mist will start to lift because else with Montague house being sat right down in the kind of the valley um, I'm not sure whether you'll you'll see um, much of it but anyway see you in a bit So I've arrived now in what I thought was the end of the avenue of trees down to Montacute House, but in actual fact, um, it's a little bit further over and the mist is kind of obscuring that much at the moment that it's hard to kind of get your bearings in this parkland of Montacute House. And for me, I think at the moment, you can probably tell from some of the B-roll, is almost a little bit too much fog coverage at the moment because I like to get some details of the trees in a kind of a composition. I feel that if it's too misty and you don't kind of get much detail it's a bit kind of mushy and a bit too ethereal kind of in that kind of composition. So yeah I'm going to carry on walking around the parkland because I don't think I've fully walked around this area before and um, I'll see whether I can find any compositions and I'm really kind of hoping a little bit now as as I enter the last kind of hour or so of my time here today that the mist does kind of lift a little bit so I can get some at least some kind of views of the house and um, hopefully like I said some more details in those trees so I can get some great kind of lone tree compositions but yeah I've been here yeah I've been here quite a few times actually Montague and the, the parkland area and I'll just put a reel of images up now of probably my favourite ones that I've captured whether I've used digital or film um, in my times here previously. So yeah, so I'll crack on again now and um, see if I can find any more compositions. Right, so I got a little bit discombobulated in the fog, but I'm now on the kind of the avenue of trees, which normally leads right down to Montague House at the bottom uh, which is completely shrouded in fog and at this stage I don't think it's going to lift to be honest so I'm just going to kind of wander down there 
and um, the, the car's back that way anyway so I've got to head back down there but while I'll, while I'm waffling on here I'll just put up some previous b-roll that I filmed um, on a previous trip here so you can actually see what Montesquieu house normally looks like when there isn't any mist in this location but yeah I and you probably just seen that b-roll that I put up now that there's some absolutely amazing ancient and really kind of veteran really notable kind of trees in this area and I know when I when I was planning this little exploration um, I did go on a, like a tree search and I'll put up the I'll put up the map now um, and it just kind of shows you the trees in the area which are basically notable really so uh, they're they're ones that kind of the the Woodland Trust and other kind of charities in the UK kind of keep an eye on you know yeah so anyway I'll, I'll run some more b-row now and um, if miraculously I managed to find some more compositions um, like I said that I, f for me the mist like on that that tree here even though I wanted to take a picture of it I thought that it's the mist would just make it a little bit too ethereal in that the you wouldn't really see much detail and color um, on the tree because there was still quite a lot of um, leaves on that tree which had turned a nice kind of autumny color um, but the mist is just too too thick down here at the moment so anyway I'll run some more b-roll and uh, we'll see you in a minute Right, so I think this is as good a place as any to kind of end this video and I've done it yeah, there's an amazing scene here it's kind of like I hope you can see it on the video if not I'll put the b-roll up again now um, of this kind of fallen tree this giant huge tree and it's almost I'm hoping it's gonna work all right with the with the kind of the misty tree in the background and hopefully some of that kind of autumn color as well in the, in the backdrop so yeah, so I hope that comes out okay, that last picture. If not, I'm glad I kind of found this tree. I've, I've seen it on another um, visit to this area before, and this is the first time I've kind of walked around, and I think I've found the best kind of composition that I've been able to find to date. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and um, I'm glad I kind of saw some more autumn color, because I get the feeling it's just going to be one storm away from finishing this year um, because it's been quite still and quite calm the last couple of weeks and I just feel that if we have one bad storm here in the UK that will just kind of blow all the kind of the leaves, the remaining leaves off the tree. So I'm glad I kind of made the effort to come out today even if the kind of the fog and the mist has obscured most of the compositions, certainly the lone trees and Montague House although as I showed earlier I've been here before and I think I have captured the house in better conditions although there is still room for improvement I don't feel that I've fully explored um, and exploited this area yet. Yeah so I really hope you enjoyed that video and the images it was nice actually not to take too many you know sometimes on these trips I take too many images and it takes forever to process so I'm glad I've kind of only really found three or four kind of compositions that I think have worked quite quite well uh, considering the conditions today so as always feel free to add any comments in the box below if you like this content that I'm producing then give the video a thumbs up and also subscribe if you'd like to see more content from me in the future so thanks for watching bye for now